Um, so where did it go so very badly wrong? Uh, three really poor goals. Uh, first, we've looked at the first goal. Uh, somebody's not done the job for the first goal. We set up yesterday for the corner that they do. Somebody's not done the job for the second goal. Uh, and the third goal, we've not taken care of the first ball and obviously scored from the second phase. So, you know, we have to, we've looked at it already and we've, I've said in there, people have got to do the jobs. You know, we're in a dogfight here and you've got to do things better. Mentally, is this team tough enough for the dogfight? Uh, I don't know. I've been in the dressing room for a week. Uh, Wednesday was good. Today was bad. Uh, so I've got to try and pick the bones out of both. and Never get too high, never get too low with anything. We've got to think about this properly uh, and see where we go from here. But no, we, they've got to toughen up mentally because this is, this is real now. Um, you went with a 3-5-2 formation in the first half. It got switched to more of a sort of 4-4-2, 4-1-3-2 in, in the second half. Talk me through the thinking of the, the, the way that you set up your patterns today. Well, we knew how strong they were physically. Uh, we knew the shape that they played. Uh, we set up to try and match them and try and be better than them. First half, it didn't work. Uh, we tried 4-4-2, like a lopsided 4-4-2 second half. We got on the ball better, but we didn't have enough at the top third of the pitch. And obviously, we conceded the two goals, which has killed us in the end. Um, you are the, the caretaker manager of this football club at the moment, but you were the manager at Ilkeston. Um, how different is how you've just spoken to the players in there um, as the caretaker manager to how you would have been were you the full-time manager of this football club? I'm still the same. Uh, I've spilled my heart out in there and told them it's not acceptable. Uh, you know, We're all in this together as a, as a group. Myself being a caretaker manager, a technical director, Norm, we're all in this together uh, representing Notts County. Uh, we've got to do better, we've got to perform better, we need better results. And what are the, what, what's the general sort of emotion from the players in there at the moment? Are they tearing strips off of one another or are they just kind of defeated? Uh, obviously they're hurting because they've just been beaten. We've just tried to uh, tell people to speak the mind and not just sit there and accept what's gone off today. If you have something to say, say it. We're all men. We've got to stick our chests out and stick our chins up and say, right, OK, how's this going to get better? And if it means a little bit of personal criticism, fine, because that's the game. Is there enough of that in that in that dressing room? Are there enough, to use that word, men? I don't know. I've been in there a week, Charlie. Uh, I've just said this is my first week in this, and I've had a good day Wednesday where nothing needed to be said. It was all positive, and today was a complete vice versa. So I've said my piece, uh, you know, because I'm a kid to man caretaker manager, uh, and I've just told them what I thought. Um, the fans were booing and, and shouting, "You're not fit to wear the shirt." Do you have any qualms with that? No, they're entitled to their opinion. Uh, it's not nice to hear, obviously, but they're entitled to their opinion and we've got to deal with it. Personally, for yourself, how tough was that? Oh, it was tough. Yeah, of course it's tough. I don't like losing any football matches. I don't like losing matches when I was a player. I didn't when I was uh, assistant manager at other clubs. I don't want them in the youth team and the reserve teams. And it was tough out there today because there's a lot of people there. They're not happy, I'm not happy, uh, and we have to get better very quickly. Um, you've got your other job to do at this football club as well, yeah. as far as the youth team. So how, how on earth do you go about the next week trying to put that right? Well, we do that Monday. Uh, we train Monday, we train Tuesday morning. I do the Tuesday afternoon game. Uh, we'll see where it takes us. We've got a plan for Monday and Tuesday and get ready for more come Saturday. If something happens in the meantime, you know, things happen. But uh, until then, we'll plan as normal. That result today means that Notts drop into the relegation uh, zone for the first time since... Was it end of August, that sort of thing. How concerning is that? Very concerning. I've told them in there, this is this is real. This is a real dogfight and you've got to grit your teeth, roll your sleeves up, pull your socks up to get out of this predicament that you're in. Uh, and it's going to be tough, but they've got to be stand up there shoulder to shoulder and fight for everything they can for this football. Do you see this as being a season long dogfight, the sort of battle that could go on, uh, not just for the next month or so, but it could be a relegation battle all the way to the end? I don't know. Uh, if results go better, we get out of the bottom two. Hopefully not, but as it stands presently, we've got next week, we've got to try and get out of the bottom too.